You know, Dan, our model of church in the West has typically been very strong on preaching and teaching. But when I did my doctoral research, I found that we have assumed that information transforms people. But actually, that's not true. Information can give you an idea, but it, you have to practice it to actually make it happen in your life. And it's, it's actually possible to sit in church for many years and never change. So this is where small groups come in. It gives us a place to talk about these things and practice them. So this is why small groups are so important. Well, that is certainly true for me, Dan. I love information. I can't get enough of it. But I don't change just by reading a book or hearing a lesson. I need a safe place in a small group to learn to process life. That's where real change happens. Adults learn best when they have the opportunity to engage with what they're hearing. And the others in the room are empowered to be a part of the learning process. This is the genius of a small group. The group teaches the group and the facilitator just helps this to happen by encouraging along through questions.